the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 281 Matthew 1-4 Jesus, good news. God sent His only Son, Jesus Christ, to the world in order to realize the promise of salvation for all humankind He planned since the beginning. First point, Matthew chapter 1 contains 2,000 years of history. The Bible contains 2,000 years, 1,500 places, and 5,000 people. In terms of time, from Abraham to the time of Jesus was 2,000 years. The Bible also sees time through the concept of Sabbath, Sabbath career, and Jubilee, as well as the other festivals. In terms of places, there are 1,500 recorded places, including the promised land Canaan. In terms of people, there are 5,000 recorded, including Abraham, Moses, Joshua, David, Jesus, and St. Paul, all those who obeyed God. There are also those who disobeyed God, the ten spies who went to Canaan, Jeroboam, the false prophet Hananiah, as well as the Sadducees and the Pharisees. We need to see time, place, and people through time. The 39 books in the Old Testament provide the backstory for the coming of Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Matthew chapter 1 records the names from Abraham to David, and then from David to Jesus Christ. Among the many kings in the genealogy, only David was referred to as King David. Another interesting aspect is the mention of the five women, Tamar, Rahab, Ruth, Mary, the mother of Jesus, but the only woman whose name was not written was Basusheba. Instead, she was recorded as Raya's wife. This was Matthew's intention to outline that even the great David was a sinner before God. Even David needed the forgiveness of Jesus Christ to be saved. Matthew also recorded the instant of Jesus' birth and how the shepherds and the Magi came to Bethlehem to celebrate. The Old Testament on many occasions predicted the birth of the Messiah. The first was the prophet Isaiah who proclaimed that a descendant of David would be born as the Messiah. God moreover told Isaiah that Jesus would be born from a virgin. God told Micah that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. Through Hosea, God declared that Jesus would flee to Egypt. Through Jeremiah, God proclaimed that Jesus' birth would bring about the massacre of babies. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and then grew up in Nazareth. After being baptized by John the Baptist, Jesus started his three-year public life. Second point, the reason the Roman Empire made Herod the king of Judea was because they studied and knew about the Assyrian, Babylonian, Persian, and the Hellenistic empires. The Roman Empire was educated in the history of the previous empires, and therefore they tolerated the religious activities of the Jews, but still required them to pay tax. Furthermore, the recent Herod, who was a descendant of Edom, was made king was because he was a skilled politician who could handle the learning of the temple. We can see what a sly politician he was through the instant of the Magi, who came to ask him where the king of the Jews had been born. Herod was someone who did not hesitate to kill his son in order to keep his position. 
We can imagine so easily what was going on in his heart when he heard that the king of the Jews had been born. Herod told them that he also wished to go and worship him. He was so convincing that the Magi intended to report to Herod where Jesus was. However, not long afterwards, Herod showed his real intentions. It was here that Joseph and Mary took Jesus to Egypt in order to save his life. Third point, prophets began with Abraham and then ended with John the Baptist. Every occupation is made in the market. However, a prophet can only be appointed by God. This is because a prophet is the one that spreads God's message. The first prophet was Abraham. The last prophet was John the Baptist. In between, Abraham and John the Baptist was a kingdom of priests and the laws. Thus, the Old Testament concerns the laws and the prophets, which Jesus Christ completed through the kingdom of God. With the end of the 400-year intertestamental period, God sent his last prophet, John the Baptist. The appearance of John the Baptist was the fulfillment of God's words, spoken through the prophet Isaiah. John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, whilst proclaiming that the kingdom of heaven was near, and thus the people were to repent. Repent meant that the people were to turn their hearts to God. Fourth point, Jesus depicted Satan through what was written in the Old Testament. Before starting his public life, Jesus was led by the Holy Spirit to be tested by Satan in the desert and fasted while praying for 40 days. Jesus was tested by Satan to become an economic messiah spiritual messiah, and then a political messiah. Jesus was able to defeat Satan all three times through the records in Deuteronomy. We must also remember that the way to defeat Satan is through the living word. Fifth point, as Isaiah predicted, Jesus' ministry began near the river of Galilee. Jesus defeated Satan and then went out to start his public life. Jesus' ministry was to speak of heaven and the kingdom of God. Not long afterwards, John the Baptist was put into prison. The reason John the Baptist was put in prison was because of the incident with Herodia. The reason Jesus set out for Galilee after hearing the news that John the Baptist was taken to prison was in order to fulfill God's words, spoken through Isaiah that his ministry would start in Galilee. In Galilee, Jesus started to recruit his disciples. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.